Police? This is Dallas Police Department. This is a child abuse unit. How can I help you? Are you a police? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, I have, There's multiple parties covering up for my daughter's child abuse, which I know is a Class A misdemeanor. You have what, I'm sorry? Uh, my daughter's child abuse. She's in an environment that uh, and multiple parties are covering up for the abuse that she's experiencing in that environment and sabotaging my rights as a parent. Okay. And I wanted to report that. I have. Okay, so are you in Dallas County? I am. So all you need to do is call 911? I've already reported it. I want an investigation, okay. the investigator. So you, when did you report it? One moment. Let me get you the report number. Okay. Okay. That report number is 068-907-9000. Twenty twenty two. Okay, tell me your name. It's Kiana Clark. And I'm sorry, what's your name? My name is Washington. Okay, and your position? I am the uh, the admin here in the office. Okay. Okay, and um, you say that it's your child. Yes. And how? What, what's her name? Michaela. Number 068907. Let me go back to it. 068907 2022. And it doesn't seem to be the right case number. Okay. Well, what about um, 068906 2022? I'm on hold. Okay, what's the detective's name? Foreman. Okay, thank you. Detective Foreman, child abuse. Um, yes, may I have your badge number? Six nine nine seven. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Kiana. Um, this is, what did I call? I'm sorry? What did I call? What did you what? Well, who are you with? Ma'am, I said I'm Detective Foreman. I gave you my badge number. You asked me for it. What can I Well, do? what department are you with? Well, this is the Dallas Police Department. Okay, what department? The Dallas Police Department. Oh, you're not in the Child Abuse Division? Okay, because I just, there's multiple parties that don't know what I'm calling. So I try to get you education. Asked, you asked me what department I was in, I said Dallas Police Department. Yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of people are upset and okay, excess, though you're in the wrong position to be starting an yeah, argument, what, sir, aren't you? What can, I, what can I do for you, ma'am? What can I do for you? Um, yes, I have been trying to report child abuse for a long time. And what happened with that report number that you guys have? She had me on hold a long time. Do you have the, did she give you, do you have any information on the report number I gave her? Because tampering with evidence is a felony. Tampering with evidence? Yeah, do you have the report number that I gave you? Yeah, but it has nothing to do with tampering with evidence. Okay, well, do you have the report number? I do. What can I do for you? Okay, so what do you show in the report? Yeah. Okay, so what can I do for you? Are you denying me investigation for the child abuse? If this is child abuse division, why would you behave in this manner? Because hindering a prosecution and covering up for crimes, that's criminal. That is a crime. And it's a class A misdemeanor or either a felony to cover for child abuse. And I don't know why the child abuse division would do such things. Okay, I don't know how to move forward if your division is covering for child abuse committing crimes. I have a report number, you're being rude, and that's the wrong location to work, being rude to a parent that's trying to report child abuse and has been unsuccessful for years. Okay, ma'am, come down 
down to 1400 South Lamar, and we can talk about it if you want to talk about it in person. Okay, so why are you denying investigation? You have the report number. Why are you denying me any information? If you're an investigator, why can't I tell you about the abuse? Why do I keep Damn, getting arrested and reporting keep, crimes? I keep, I keep telling you to tell me how I can help you. Okay, if you have the report number, what do you do as an investigator? What are you going to do? Well, according to this report, there's no assault being made. Okay, what happened? I don't know. They won't give me the education or information on the reports I make. They don't want me to know. Okay, so can you give me the status of the report? That is, it's, uh, you made the report. What, what did you say in your report? Okay, are you denying me the right to get the uh, update for the investigation for the child abuse? I get you have the report number. It it would be really sadistic and sick if people are calculating terrorizing a person denying knowing that that would torture a mom to not have access to information on her child. So CPS investigators will not investigate and give that parent an update and threaten the police so she can just sit and marinate and not what's know, not knowing what's going on with her child. Knowing that the mom is very uh, has a relationship with her child and was is tortured by not having access to her child, so they deny it out of criminal activity, that's pretty sadistic. And then to cover for multiple crimes and let the mom sit in that, deny her the right to talk to the child, deny her education, which is all uh, education on what's going on, which is all illegal. And it's even sicker for authority figures to do that for profit or whatever reason that they are doing that, uh, uh, participating in that abuse. So I don't know how to combat. What department is this again? You said this is a child abuse division? I'm sorry? You said this is a child abuse division? It is. Okay, so I don't know how to combat the child abuse division committing crimes. Okay. If you're the investigator and you're refusing to give me the status of the report, like multiple parties have done in person and over the phone, why would you guys commit a crime and deny me the status of a report? that I made. It's suspended. It is suspended, ma'am. Why would a child abuse report be suspended? It's a child abuse report. What kind of report is it? It's, not, it's, a, it's an incident report. How is it an incident report and it has a number at the end of it, like it's a case number? Are you Kiana Clark? Yes. Is your date of birth 420 How... I've already did a report. I'm pressed for time. I don't know. It's like people. This, this, this report. This report doesn't say that she's been abused. What does it say? It says Miss Clark stated that her daughter, Toriel Juvenile, said that somebody was hitting her. That's not abuse. Well, it depends on what the circumstances is. So it wasn't sent for investigation. At the child abuse division? So she told you that somebody was hitting her? I want to know if you are preventing me to get investigation for the child abuse. Am I preventing you from getting investigation? Right, for the child abuse. Well, At the child abuse division. Listen, listen to me. We only investigate cases that involve family members and caretakers. Did a family member or caretaker assault your daughter? I've already given them a report. What do you know? That saying that I thought the stepmom did it. That ain't what this says. Okay, well, what does it say? It's not what this says. What does it say? Because I know that there's criminal activity and people are doing, I think that someone had put my doc. Okay. The message did not say who hit her, when, or where. Or to any context or circumstances involving the hit. Okay, so how do you get it investigated? Where do you go? Why would they refer me to this department if it's not the right department? That doesn't make sense. I keep getting referred to these departments that don't help. Let me give you the number of assault. Okay, we're talking about assault. Why would they give me your number 
And when we've been on the phone 10 minutes to not get anything resolved, this happens routinely. It's like it's planned. Hold on. I'm on hold. So for my health, I just have to realize that the world isn't like I perceived it to be. This has been going on years and it should not be brand new to me. These people have been getting away with covering up for all this chaos and I lose sleep over it. I let it bother me and I keep calling and fighting for my life. And the truth of it is they have more power. I mean, they are, they're hacking into my phone. I'm getting stalked. So any kind of help or advocacy I get, they interrupt it. So they're able to keep getting away with abusing power. Having uh, social workers put assist in putting me out in slanders, having different places put me out to keep me in jeopardy, even at hotels, scheming to have me put out in hotels, having CPS cover for crimes. So just for my health, you know, um, I just have to depend on God and, you know, and just realize it's like David and Goliath. And this is a point to where you have to really just sit and give it to your savior because there's no way that one woman could, um, could conquer this in her own strength. So it just really has to come from a strength beyond myself, which I just don't have. It is be has, it's beyond me. So he has me on hold. They do this routinely. It's too many people. I think these holes are on purpose. I'm still on hold. I've been on an awful long time for him just to give me a number. And why do they keep giving me numbers, refer me to places, and then the places they refer me to refer me to someone else to never get anything resolved? He hung up. Had me on hold all that time and then hung up. They do it all the time. He hung up. Yes, I, you just transferred me to a detective or investigator. And he wasn't sure where I needed to go to to report that my child was assaulted. And he's an investigator. And he had me on hold a good, pretty good while and hung up. So can this department refer me to the right department to report that my child was assaulted? Because I've been trying to report crimes for years and have been unsuccessful. I went to CPS, okay, on, the Family on. Violence Child hold Abuse on, Division, on. On, and none on. of those places would help me assist with reporting child abuse, even the family courts. Was I on hold with you? Oh, what's your name? Okay, I don't remember the person whose name I was speaking to. What department is this? Okay, and your badge number? Do you guys deny child abuse reports as investigators? I'm sorry? Do you guys deny child abuse reports, uh, reports as investigators? Can uh you can I report child abuse to you as an investigator? Because I've been trying to report the family uh, the the family court won't take the abuse, CPS won't take it, police won't take it. Are you willing to take a child abuse report so those multiple parties haven't been taking it for years? You have to call nine one one. Okay, so you're an investigator and you heard you're hearing about suspected child abuse and you won't take the report. What if you are? You, what if you're the assigned investigator and you won't take the report? Is that a crime? We get reports from the patrol officers. I'm sorry? We get reports from patrol officers. Okay. Well, how do you know that you don't have the report? I just gave him a report number and he was unwilling to tell me. He said something about, um, because what I think happened, I think that my daughter is getting controlled. Uh -huh. And I think the police and multiple parties are enlisted for harassment and abuse. So whoever hit her and whatever's going on with that, just like all the abuse I experienced, the police department and multiple parties are covering up for it, for control and abuse out of corruption. So I think now that my daughter's afraid for whatever happened to her, and I think you guys are covering for it. 
So how do I combat when there's so much criminal activity? Why won't you guys investigate what happened to me and what happened to my daughter as well? And she's 12. And if you want, refuse to investig investigate that, isn't that criminal? Why would a parent have to go years reporting child abuse, getting denied the right to know what's going on in records? And if you're an investigator, don't you have a responsibility to report suspected child abuse? What if CPS doesn't do it? They, they want to investigate it over 30-something reports, but I want to know if you're an investigator, why won't you take it? I think police are behind the reason why people are mistreating me like this. A lot of major corruption and abuse of power. But for starters, we need to figure out why you're risking criminal uh, crime, committing crimes, and not taking the report yourself and your investigator at the Child Abuse Division. Hey, we don't take reports. You have to call patrol officers to make a report. They well, they won't take a report. I've already made a report, and you guys are sabotaging the reports as a conspiracy together. Well, I want to know what your responsibility and multiple parties' responsibility in, in denying law enforcement and covering up for child abuse because that's criminal. Okay. If you're hearing suspected child abuse and you're an investigator with the police department, you have a responsibility to not listen and then refer me to other locations like a multitude of other people have done. You guys don't come up with any solutions, hours and hours and hours of me spending time for people to play games and refer me to other places in a conspiracy to get away with crimes for years. But the truth of it is every location I'm calling that refer me to another location has a responsibility to do something and they all refuse it and refer okay. me to another location that they already have prearranged to deny services as well. Okay, so you take legitimate cases. So if there's text if there's text on my phone and if there's pictures of bruises, this is what they they hung up to cover up for the evidence. He hung up. Child abuse unit now they won't hang up at this time. Please I mean now they won't answer. Brief message along with a case number. Yes, I have been unsuccessful trying to report my abuse and my daughter's abuse. I have a report number and the police refused to investigate it and CPS. So I don't know what party to go to because I keep being forwarded uh, over to different parties. Well, if you have a report number, have you spoken with the detective yet? No. Okay, the report number is 068-906-2022. Um, I don't know what it would be considered because I keep getting told different things. Multiple parties aren't honest with me. So and it was never investigated? And then I don't know. But you don't know. Ma'am, I'm not a detective. Let me give you the name of uh, it shows there is a detective Williams name attached to this report. So is that a detective or a police Avery Williams? Yes. That's not a detective. Well, I I'm just looking at they put it would they normally put the detective's name. Uh, have you spoken with the uh, with Williams? Um, they told me that Williams couldn't assist, that he wasn't a detective, he was just a patrol officer. Uh, I don't know why the child abuse division would be unwilling to investigate child abuse, along with CPS, the family courts, and multiple other parties, the Texas uh, Rangers as yeah. well. Hold on one moment. 
I, I, that's hard for me to report the family violence and child abuse to multiple different parties, including the family violence, district attorney, family violence and child abuse division. So I'm on hold again. Hello? Yes. Hi, are, are you Miss Clark? I am. What's your name? Um, Darlene. Okay, and your you position? Me before. Okay, your position? Um, I'm senior office assistant. Senior oh, office assistant? Senior office assistant? Yes. Yeah, I told, I was trying to tell someone in the family, I mean, the family violence division that I have been experiencing uh, some stalking and corruption for years, and they have been rude and hung up in my face and prevented the reports, which I thought was per criminal. So I tried to speak with an advocate, multiple advocates, and they were unwilling to give me any education on how to get out of the situation at the family <laughs> violence division. So it's hard for me to get ed education on the stalking because they refused to give me the education and advocacy. And I was well hung up in my face multiple times when I tried to get it. But as far as today, I had problems because the child abuse division hung up when I was trying to report child abuse. And okay. CPS uh, won't take it. The family courts won't okay. take it. The family violence and child abuse division won't take it. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get your phone number and I'm going to uh, give your information over to um, Sergeant. Okay. So do you have the report number? So can I get some education on my rights? Cause people don't want me to know for uh, everywhere I go. I, I have your report number cause you just gave it to me. Um, what's the status so, of it? I mean, what's going on with it? I mean, cause they don't want me to know. There's multiple reports all over that they will not tell me the status of and will not give me education on. Okay, so well, can you tell me? Because I would hope the Family Violence what Division would not cover up for crimes. Give it to the sergeant and he can give you more information. I him. would like to know what you know. What is your position again? I'm not an officer. Okay, you haven't given me any advocacy or anything or any instruction on what I need to do. I'm, 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 a... I'm not qualified in that position. I'm just an office assistant. So uh, I... The, we have uh, several people that does that um, advocacy and um, and then the for your report you can speak to a uh, sergeant of supply. The sergeants are denying me services. So at the Family Violence Division, you answer the phone and you have no education on what to do with stalking. Because I mean, I call domestic violence places and they won't give it to me either. And you know, it's an unbelievable experience. So, so let me let me. Give your information. I just want to know because they, they don't call me back, ma'am, and they cover for crimes. And that multiple parties cover for crimes. So are you unwilling to give me any education on what I need to do to combat stalking? I'm not qualified for that. Um, let me... Um, well, why did they put you on the phone? I've been on the phone 20 something minutes and haven't got anything resolved, but I've been on the phone hours and haven't got anything resolved. So well, what, I, why did they put you on the phone if you couldn't assist? Well, I was on hold all that time to um, get you and you couldn't assist. I, I answer the phone so I can direct you to someone that can assist. Well, I talked to someone before um, you. I talked to someone well, before you. I talk to someone in this department. You said you called What's, What department is this? This is, this is family violence. Okay, so I talked to someone in family violence. I was put on hold. And then you got on the phone and said that you talked to me before. And I was the one that answered the phone. Oh, okay, so I talked to you. You put me on hold and then you answered. Okay, so I never was transferred to another party. No. Okay. Okay, so your position is your administrator and you can't give me any education on why most of the family violence won't take the child abuse report, CPS won't take it, the police department won't take it, youth division won't take it. Isn't it, can you tell me if that's criminal or you don't have that ed education because they won't call me back. They keep playing games and giving me the runaround for years. Uh, hold on. They just play games. They just play games. There's this their job to make sure I never get it. She hung up. Before they were rude, they put me on hold. I mean, they know that I'm recording now, so they're better. 
that's how I knew that something was going on suspicious with my calls. I would call like uh, businesses, like uh, different places, and they would lie to me about rates. Like I, if I tried to book something online, they would try to charge me two times the rate. And I could not explain what was going on. And I've tried to order multiple things and then my orders get canceled. It's just an incredible experience. I have no earthly idea what is happening to me. So we could just say that this is just spoof calls. All of them are spoof, but this happens in person. So like the AT&T representatives, I called Metro the other day and I didn't want to upload the video. And they said someone would be getting back to me and they haven't. And they were supposed to be giving me the information on a technical ticket. I went in person and they wouldn't do the technical ticket. But what makes this really compromising and difficult to get out of it? Because the government is enforcing your abuse. They're telling these people to do what they're doing. Like the police car that was in front of 7-Eleven, they instructed that business to deny me purchase. It's an incredible story, but they already know because I'm getting stopped where I'm going, where I'm mainly uh, the places I mainly go to, and they prevent me from having access to those places. So the police car was there, no police to be found, but when I go in there, get out. But, you know, like I said earlier, this is a David and Goliath situation. All I can do is just trust in the Lord and hope that, you know, just pray and make the best of the situation. These people have been getting away with this chaos for years. And, you know, just pray for our government. Because this is what we have become.